Well, here's our update on the uh, recumbent reverse trike, and I've built my own seat. Uh, I made that out of half-inch conduit. Use just your normal conduit bender and bend it to the contours that is on Recycled Recumbent website. Uh, I will put that link down below if you want to build one of these seats. Now, what I did instead of using the fabric that they uh, used, what I used was paracord and I laced it kind of like you would a tennis racket. Uh, here's what I did. I brazed uh, quarter inch washers an uh, inch and a half apart so I could lace it and it'd hold the paracord where it needs to be. But anyway, that was a that was a pretty good uh, chore. And let's see, something that I am really happy with, and I would recommend if you build one of these to do this from the get-go, is I installed this disc brake setup. And I tell you what, it is so much better than that little caliper, customary old style brake. I tell you, it, it makes all the difference. That right there is is worth every penny. So if you do it, I would install that from the get-go. I installed those road bike type pedals. Those work real good. Uh, feel real comfortable when you're in that reclining position. And I did kind of that chain update. And what I did, so I didn't have so many master links, because every time you have a master link, that's a place for failure to happen. And I brazed or used silver solder on that uh, place instead of using a master link. Uh, I have a new use for a little camera that I've had for a long time. This little uh, Ion Air Pro. Uh, something that I like, I like this little rear view mirror. It just attaches to the handlebars. And uh, so that was a nice addition. All right, well, we're in the track and we're positioned to go and let's click the power button. So we'll have a little extra kick when we pedal and uh, let's get this party started. So anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop today. This is Rusty Glove Box, and I'm out of here.